Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at a different type of light source in Arnold or Maya and that's going to be the physical sky. Alright, so if you haven't seen my previous videos on lights, uh, take a look at my aerial light video and my sky dome video. This is the next uh, tutorial. So I have a plane and a sphere here and if I go to Arnold render you'll see I have no lights in the scene, it's completely dark. So let's get to it. I'm going to come up to Arnold. I'm going to go to lights and I'm going to look for the physical sky. And when I go to the physical sky, uh, you can see that, uh, yes, I have a light source here or the shadow. So let's just take a look. You can, if I orbit up, uh, you can see orbit down, you can see that I can be looking at the sky. Uh, so it's laid down kind of a, a physical sky and that's why it's called that. Um, so there's a few things we can do with this. If I um, go to the uh, the button right here is the attributes editor, and if I click on the physical sky, you can see um, I have an intensity here, so I can boost this up. I typically go to about a three. Um, there's also another tab that gives us some more options. It's the AI physical sky one tab. So if I take a look at here. Um, I'm going to uh, show you the elevation. So the elevation right now is about 45 degrees. And you can see that's the type of shadow we get. Uh, but if I bring this down to a lower at elevation angle, you can see it's almost like a morning light, that golden hour. And you can see there's the sun in the sky here. And as I bring up that elevation, the sun will go higher. And you can see that that changes the shadow, right? So you would never want, uh, just like a photographer, uh, they would never want to shoot in the middle of the day because guess what? Shadows are very boring in the middle of the day. Uh, they're right underneath an object. So typically uh, dusk or dawn uh, for photographing for better um, interest in shadows and that's the same for 3D as well. So be looking at that possibly for your work. Uh, look at making your uh, shadows a little bit more interesting by moving around the elevation. Now the azimuth is the um, direction of the sun in the sky. So I can move this around. Just to say I, you know, don't want to rotate my whole object to face the sun. Well, I can do that and just by sliding this slider bar here and just move the sun and not have to touch the model. So you can see that will change the direction of the shadow by rolling the azimuth. There's also another intensity uh, slider here as well, but I had uh, done that in the previous tab. Uh, you can tint the sky different colors. You can also change the sun's size. That doesn't change the brightness of the sun. It'll just be look larger in the sky. Um, and you can turn off the sun as well. <laughs> so uh, keep the sky and lose the sun. So. Um, that's just a little bit about the physical sky. Uh, good luck and give it a try.